Good afternoon, FS Club, I'll be at the channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News. It's been a minute, right? Since we have actually talked about the news. Well, today, we'll be going over the first, very first fact sheets for Kubota. We'll also be talking about Welker's Farm, plus more. Remember, before we even get started, to smash that like button. Now, if you're watching this as a premiere, let's try to get 100 likes. Yes, Sam, if you're watching this, you better hit that like button. Also, if you're watching this after, let's go for 300 likes. Well, talked enough. Roll that intro. Let's go. Welcome back. Okay, so here we go with the first pieces of news for today. Of course, today is a Friday, so you guys know what that means. Fact Sheet Friday. Remember, June 28th comes out the new Kubota DLC. And if you guys are on PC, the club's affiliate link is in the description. You guys can pre-order it right there. Doesn't cost any extra, just helps out the club. But anyways, the first fact is, remember with this Kubota DLC comes of course the Kubota vehicles and it also comes a passenger script so we can now have passengers in the game. And yes, you do have to have the Kubota DLC actually activate it whenever you do want to, well, whenever you want to use the passenger script. Okay, so the first one, as you guys can see right here, we have, well, as you guys can see, passengers are in there. That is the Kubota RTV X1140WH. Well, that's a very long name. 15,500, 25 horsepower, variable CEVT, 30 liters of fuel, 1.2 tons, and it can hold anywhere, anywhere from 280 liters all the way up to 1,000 liters. And as you guys can see from all those icons right there, pretty much everything it can hold. Okay, now the next fact sheet we have after that one is the Kubota SVL972 skid steer loader. 77,000, it is 96 horsepower, variable CVT, 111 liters of fuel. Jeez, I'm like running out of breath over here. 12 miles, well actually, sorry, 7 miles per hour, 5.3 tons. Okay, I think I caught my breath. Okay, now we have the last one we have for today, which is the Kubota M5 series, which is actually the smallest tractor in this pack. It is 64,500. 92 horsepower all the way up to 106 horsepower. Transmission is manual, 76 liters of fuel, 21 miles per hour it can go, and 2.5 tons. So that is, well, the three fact sheets for Kubota. Pretty sure next week we're gonna be getting one, and of course the last week we should be getting one. So very excited about this. Let's get to that regular pieces of news for today. Okay, so the first regular piece of news for today is from Connect Modding. If you guys did not know, June 11th, which is actually tomorrow, comes out their next big, well, licensed pack. This is the Pickin pack. It includes a whole bunch of stuff. Well, we got two more things that were announced. A winch has been announced. Here it is right here. It's $5,221. It does require 65 horsepower on that one. And then the next one after that one, we have this one. This is the GNDHF72 right here. Uh, let's see, this is 6.9 working meters. It does require 194 horsepower. So this pack is supposed to be coming out tomorrow. So one more day till release. Okay, the next one after that one, we have some news from Peter J. Modding. He posted this picture up just a little bit ago saying, what do you think of my IMT 539? So this is the MF35 IMT. The question is though, I don't know if this is gonna be coming on console. Uh, it's probably gonna be very difficult to get this on console. So this might be just a PC only mod right here. A mod that will be coming to all platforms is this next piece of news, which is from Pascal. He had this to say, happy to announce he has submitted a medium sized warehouse to the mod hub. There are three ways to use this warehouse. Unloading trailer manually and putting away the pallets manually. Uh, unloading trailer manually and putting the pallets on the unload trigger, which puts them in the racks automatically when putting on the story. And then the last one is set your production points to distributing, and it will put all the pallets automatically in the pallet rack. So that that's pretty cool right there. And if you, well, if you want to sell the finished products, you can either sell straight away or load them onto a trailer manually. He says that he hopes later on Giants will make a fourth option in production points, which makes it possible to store pallets without spawning them. Uh, I'm very excited about this. We actually don't have like a place like this, like a warehouse where it has the automatic racks. And, uh, well, if you're actually having a production, you can actually distribute them right to it. So that is amazing. Can't wait for this to come out. Hopefully it comes out very soon. Okay, now the next piece of news is something I've been waiting on since FS19 and Kloss brand was actually announced and we still, we haven't seen it. But anyways, the first of its kind, 
a Klaus Lexion in the American colors will actually be coming out to all platforms very soon. As you guys can see from this picture right here, this is the Klaus Lexion 670 from Sid Modding. I am definitely going to be using this harvester. And of course, you know with Sid Modding, he makes some really, really good mods. So definitely keep an eye out for this when it hits the mod up. Okay, now let's get to some mapping news for today. And this is from Mapper's Paradise about Welker's Farm. He said, do you all want to see the first look at the Welker's Farm map while we wait and go through the testing process? I am hoping that we do see a first look very soon. I'm actually very excited about this map. This map is going to be a map specifically for multiplayer players. Because I remember this map has like, you know, those huge, huge fields. So that is the first mapping news for today. The second one is from actually Black Sheep Modding. And this is actually some of the first tease picks of his Alex Pro Deal Center farm, which is based in France. So this is the next map that will be coming out well next from Black Sheep Modding. As you guys can see, beautiful, beautiful scenery, but it also has some special production points. Uh, the first one is, I don't know, I don't know what that is. If you guys know what that one is, let me know in the comment section below. I just know it takes wheat, sugar, eggs, and apples. Yes, you heard that apples are also on this map too so you see right there you give us some water and you get 10 apples so what else can we see from this map and as you guys can see also from the pda there is actually big fields so very very excited about this okay so that right there guys is all the regular news for today let's go over the last testing a uh, testing list for the week and then of course the outro Okay, so here we go with the testing list, and this is a huge, huge testing list, guys. A lot of mods are being tested right now. Okay, so if we go down on here, we can see an all-in-one production. We can see the Bergman HTW45 on there. Um, let's see, the Case IH Axle Flow US series, so that is probably an update right there. We got some challengers, the MT800E and the MT900E, which I believe that is from Sid Modding. Uh, looks like the composter will be getting an update. We got the East Vineland, New Jersey, USA. Um, if we go down a little more, Fox Farms is on there. The International Farmal H is actually finally in testing. Uh, we have a JCB Fast Track 3200 Extra. The John Deere 9600 9610, that is also from Sid Modding. Man, he's got a lot of mods actually in testing. A whole bunch of lizards. Uh, if we go down a little bit more, we have a maintenance building, medium garage, a New Holland CR1090 series, the old Kiwi farm. Ooh, okay. That was actually, the Kiwi farm was, I believe, on FS19, which included a lot of new crops on that one. Uh, we have the pressure washer HUD, uh, rustic fences. We have the sawmills pack, the seed add-ons, additional features. Looks like it'll be getting an update very soon. Um, man, there's a lot on here. Universal Tank, Lizard Logistics, um, Westbridge Hills. There's actually two, Westbridge Hills and Westbridge Hills 22. Uh, I believe probably one is probably from Puma, which is probably the regular Westbridge Hills. And then that is about it. That is on the PC side of testing. Now on console side of testing, we have the Case W20E. Uh, we have the Crone Big Pack 12080. Uh, go down a little bit more. We have the New Holland 8340, the Shire Farm, and that is about it. Number of mods waiting to be tested is still over 200. 203 mods waiting to be tested and three days to basically get into the testing list. So that was the news and testing list for today. Not a bad week, right? Was a little bit short, though. Hopefully next week we get a lot more mods. Well, today's schedule. We have a live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Ready to the new mod video, so if you guys have not checked it out, definitely check it out. We got some pretty good mods today. Remember, if you guys did like the video, which hopefully every single one of you guys did, to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, I guess I will see you guys tonight. Remember, live stream is tonight, and of course, live streams all weekend, plus we have more videos and stuff like that. Well, anyways, talk to you guys later. Peace!